fucking shooting. So me and the wife, we just went up in the crib and went to bed. Woke up this morning, they were still down there. That's a- <laughs> Oh, shit. Mike, who are you, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, no, I just, I'm I'm a former officer for, for many years ago, and um, this is like, this is crazy. Where, you from? where were you, where were you officer at, man? So I grew up, I grew up in Queens. I grew up in Frockway, Queens, but um, I was an officer in Virginia. So I moved to, we moved oh, okay. to Virginia. How, how yeah, did but, you, um, how did you find out about the channel? I just I just hit the live tab, man, and you, you just popped up. Okay, okay. Yeah. So go ahead, tell us what do you what do you what do you think about this? So the whole thing, the whole premise with this is as being a former investigator and things like that. You know, it's just it seems like there were rival people like in the neighborhood that just popped off. You know, and that's why block parties are very dangerous. So when I grew up in New York, we would have block parties. We would we, we would actually have block parties. You had to get a permit. They put the cones around the end of the street, and everybody just had, you know, you got you got music, you got food, you got people grilling, but you know, you usually don't have rival gangs or or, or people that are trying to k-word each other. You know, this just seems well, to be that. Like, tell me yeah, this: Did yeah. you grow up in a white neighborhood or a black neighborhood? All black. All black. All black. Mott Avenue, Frockway, Queens. No. Mod Avenue. Okay, so you grew up in, a, in, in in y'all didn't have this type of stuff. No, we had no, we had block parties. We had block parties, but back but in no shooting, no shootings, man. No, no, back in yo, back in the day, you didn't call the cops, and back in the day, we governed ourselves. You, what, you, you, what, you what, is what, what is what is back in the day, bro? What, what, how far uh, back is back in the day? I would say 1990, 1991. Oh, shit, man. Get out of here, man. Um, yeah. I, I, my family is from Jamaica, Queens, man. Get out of here, man. Yeah, Get out yeah. of here, man. They been yeah, having man. shootings all the time in, in, in Queens, man. No, you did, but when you had a block party, the people, the people that were throwing the block party were almost like the bouncers of the block party, if you know what I mean. There were people there that took care of security. You didn't call the cops. You know what I'm saying? When something went down, it, it, it was taken care of. And they didn't let people in that weren't a part of that community or a part of that positive energy. Yo, the Jamaicans, they would throw they would, the Jamaicans would throw the block parties. You know, it was crazy. The, the food, the drum chicken, I mean, the music, everything. And no one would dare try to assault somebody. I mean, it just, it, they just wouldn't even dare to do it, you know, because it was governed by the people throwing the party. But this block party and the people of this day and age, they have no backbone. You know what I'm saying? To come into a block party and pop off like that, you're a coward. That's just a coward person. A block party is bringing people together, not pushing okay, them apart. I got yeah. you. I got you. Let, let me yeah. move along, man. Yeah, and 28. Now, for a brief moment, Move right here around 2 25 a.m., ranging out, we do know unfortunately that a 20 year old woman was shot in the head and passed away, along with a 21 year old man who was also shot in the back and passed away as well. We did get the chance to speak to a neighbor who heard everything and immediately decided to take cover. We was on the porch uh, listening to music and heard all the noise and screaming and shooting. So me and the wife, we just went up in the crib and went to bed. Woke up this morning, they were still down there. At the end of the day, it's kids. It's kids. Ain't even lived their life yet. And injured and dying. Right in the, right up the street. Right up the street. And the bullets could have came this way. And me and my wife was having a good time. We could have been victims. And right now, there are still so many unknowns, but we do know that DPD, they're supposed to be giving us some type of update. First thing tomorrow, they want it to hold off right now as this investigation continues. But once again, a horrible situation where 19 people have been shot and two others dead. Right here on the east side, Victor Williams, Local 4. A lot of questions right now. All right. Thank you, Victor. 
This mass shooting has the East Side community coming together to demand change. A peace walk was held just hours after the shooting. It was organized by the Mohican Re Regent Residents Association, which covers the neighborhood where that shooting occurred. Leaders say the purpose of the walk was to show neighbors they have the power to keep their communities safe. The whole idea is to get them involved so that they can take control of their own community. And we have the numbers. If there's 30 homes in a block a people that are a problem, now is if we isolate ourselves, those two are in control. But those if those 30 people are working together, then the block club is in control. So again, this is what we want to create. An atmosphere. Now listen, I've never seen any of this shit work. Only thing I've seen make a neighborhood better is less black people. As far as when it comes to violent crime. The only thing I've seen make a neighborhood better is the less violent crime is less black people. Now you can get a, a more upscale black person and get rid of like, you know what I'm saying? The neighbor look nicer. People mow their grass and shit like that. And, you know, take care of their, um, paint their houses and get new roofs and shit like that and change out their windows. And you know what I'm saying? You can get that. But violent crime, as long as black people there, you're going to get violent crime, man. None of this shit works, man. I, I don't know. And, and listen, not to beat up on you, um, Mike. Um, salute to you, Mike, man. But I just, I just think that this notion that there was a time where we policed our own selves and the gangs looked out for it. Man, that's horse shit, man. I was born in 1978. I was around in 1990, man. <laughs> I was around in 88, man. Oh, that's bullshit, man. That's not, what that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying gangs. I'm saying your neighbors. We all looked out for each other. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but you Our can't neighbors. stop something. The neighbors can't stop something from happening at a block party. Maybe nothing just happened at the block parties you went to. There's nothing like uh, there's plenty of block parties where nobody gets shot. Maybe that's well, for, what happened. For nineteen for nineteen people to be shot, there were shots coming from both sides, both sides. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it was. If it was a gangs, it's I don't. I don't know. Two guys that looked at each other the wrong way. Yeah, but for, yeah, for yeah. nineteen, but no, no, it's okay. But if it's two or three people that are shot, understand. But for the 19 If it's people, a block party, if it's a yeah. block party and I get mad and I pull out my switch and I start shooting and everybody's condensed and close together on the block, 19 people get shot easy, man. Let's feel where we as a community are in control of our neighborhood. Mayor Duggan commented on the violence on the east side as well. He said oh, in shit, part, they got a white mayor in Detroit. What the hell? What the fuck? How did he win in how did a white mayor win in Detroit in 84% black city? He's like, the violence at several block parties over the last three days has been heartbreaking for this city. Young people and innocent neighbors are being put at risk every weekend. We will, of course, keep you updated on any new information on the mass shooting on clickondetroit.com. And we will also have in-depth coverage tonight on Local 4 News at 11. And Atlanta yeah. police need your help looking for this man who's a person of interest in an assault that happened in southeast Atlanta. Come and take a good look at your screen here. Definitely police looks like say problem. officers were called to a convenience store on Conley Road and found a man with a head wound. According to police, another man entered the store and pistol whipped the victim. The victim is expected to be okay, but if you have any information, you are urged to contact Crime Stoppers for a potential $2,000 reward. Mm. New details is two women were found dead in a home in Middle River this morning. Baltimore County police have been on scene all day and they are still investigating what led up to this incident. Tara Lynch is live on your corner in Middle River. Tara, what have you learned so far? Well, Kelsey, Baltimore County police still at the scene at one Tau circle here in Middle River. That's where they found those two women with blunt force trauma injuries to their chest, both were pronounced dead at the scene. I do want to take you to the scene. Here's what we saw earlier this afternoon. Police say they received this call around 9.50 this morning. The caller requested a location check 
at the home. When officers arrived, they found the women inside with blunt force trauma wounds to the chest. They still don't know exactly what happened and what led up to this, and they've not confirmed any relation between the two women or a suspect at this point. Neighbors tell me this is a quiet neighborhood where people know each other and help one another. They're very shocked that this happened here. See? Yet police are still investigating. They're still looking for more details. If anyone has any information, you're see, in this is a quiet neighborhood, man, where everybody help each other. Look out for each other, man. <laughs> it still couldn't stop it, man. Courage to reach out to Baltimore County Police, or you can reach out anonymously to Metro Crime Stoppers. Their number 866-7 lockup. For now reporting live on your corner in Middle River, Tara Lynch, WJZ. Tara, thank you. One of Clayton County's most wanted tried to run again, but couldn't get away this time. Darius Roberts is now in the Clayton County Jail on several charges. According to the Sheriff's Office, deputies spotted a Hyundai Kona speeding along I-75. When deputies tried to pull Roberts over, they say he drove off onto I-20 before crashing into a guardrail near the Flat Shoals exit. Authorities say Roberts tried to run away, and was tased before eventually being taken into custody. He's facing several charges tonight, including aggravated assault and fleeing. This damn thing, man. This mm -hmm. damn, this damn, um, that thing right there, measuring the goddamn distance between the shells, man. Yo, what the fuck, man? Why they waste so much money on Blackistan, man? <laughs> this has probably made a difference in very few investigations. Y'all, there's so many of us. Think about how many homicides. There's going to be, what, 350 homicides in Baltimore every year? Um, Let's say uh, 1,500 shootings to 1,000 to 2,000 shootings. <laughs> I mean, where does all this go? On a serve, like a, at least it's not back in the day where they had files like drawers and shit with the folders and shit. At least it ain't like that. At least now you got like um computers and shit. Computers. So you, yeah, you can just keep the shit on a day of serve. Uh, CSI and that shit were realistic. It'd just be every episode would just be a fucking shooting in Blackistan somewhere. So do, do, do you guys? Do you gentlemen? Do you gentlemen carry a firearm? I don't carry. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't carry. I have little kids. Yeah, and they always. I don't carry. I don't care because I got little kids. Well, my my kids are grown, you know. So I, I live alone. So I I have guns, you know, and um, I make it a point to talk to my neighbors. Me and my neighbors, we all. So I'm in Virginia. So we in Virginia, you can open carry. You can open carry on your side. You can, you know. All that, right. all that. No, I, I know Virginia. Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with Virginia. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I have an AR-15 sitting right there. I'm not going to show it because I'm not going to hurt your channel, but it's sitting right there. You know, and um, so the thing is, is that you have to protect yourself because the problem is that police. Yeah, are you around sons? Are you around sons? I no, no, I, my, my kids don't live here. No. No, are you around? No, no, he doesn't. Son, son, people are black. Black people. people. Are you around black people? My two next door neighbors are black. To the right, are they like you? Yeah, they all have guns. Yeah, we're all we're all. <laughs> no, no, meaning meaning how you're neighborly, you're neighborly, like you're 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 clearly a good guy. Oh yeah, no, we. I have a smoker in the back. I have a big smoker. We we'll 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 I'll put a big old brisket on there. Oh no no we're we're like family, we're like family. So, yeah. How's the rest like, of the neighborhood? Yeah. So how's the like, rest of the neighborhood? Is it is it glidery? Is it like predominantly white? Uh, predominantly black. Predominantly black and, and okay. Predominantly black and I guess would say Spanish. Can you tell me what city it is, if you don't mind, or what county, if you don't mind? I'm in Virginia Beach. Oh, fuck, man. Let, let's move along, man. But that, that section could be good, though, Bach. That section could be good. 
Yeah, yeah but and the we, whole time we're whole tight. Is the, Yo, we're the, tight. The, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I had a flat tire, quickly, right? Though, quickly, yeah. I, give, I, had, I had a flat tire, and I turn around, and my neighbor's coming out with one of those jacks, you know, on the wheels to jack your car up. And I, I, I'm like, yo, all right, cool, you know? Well, <laughs> I was going to call AAA, but what I'm trying to say is if you're cool with your neighbors, it doesn't matter no, what they great. look like or where they're listen, from. Listen. That's great. I'm not trying to – we're not talking about, like, this guy or that guy. We're talking about like the incidents, the 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 probability, the occurrence of violent crime in a certain area. Twenty four homicides last year. Yeah, so you had twenty four homicides in Virginia Beach. And Virginia Beach is a is, is is a great area. It's the best of of all the seven cities of all Tidewater. That's probably that and Chesapeake are probably the two best of the mm -hmm. cities. And they had yeah. twenty four homicides like button man the least you can do is hit the like button the most you can do is take the five dollar challenge support the channel mm -hmm. you see what i'm talking about man it's a good neighborhood neighborhood with no homeowner but all it takes is a couple of teen sons to be around and some other teen sons be like oh there there go those teen sons we don't like and they just come and spray the block yeah we're not saying that every single person in every single one of these homes is a black demon the opposite in fact <laughs> but it only takes a few, you know. I mean, this is an observation that's been made a lot. Yeah, man. And 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 these people are complicit because they they vote Democrat. They vote for soft on crime policies. They um they uh hide. They they don't cooperate with police. They um march and protest the first time the police makes a mistake. Any police across the city makes a mistake, they protest and march and besmirch the police. And I just want to ask you this quickly, quickly. You don't have to give me your life story. Do you think that a shot spotter being in the neighborhood is an indication that something's wrong in that neighborhood? The fact that you have a shot spotter there. I, I, you're asking me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, we have in Virginia, we have the, the, the shooting. Um, it's like when sh a shot is fired, they have like a, a almost like a something that records a shot it. Spot. A shot yeah. spot. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, so the, the, the fact that that's necessary, the fact that there's gunshots that go unreported so often because it's so normalized and people so desensitized to it that you need a machine to alert cops about it. That's a problem, man. It no is matter definitely. how nice, no matter how many times your neighbor changes your fucking tire, that's a fucking problem in the neighborhood. So it, it's not a problem. Man, it's shocked, that's man. very that's very true. And that's that's very true. So basically. When you work in inclement weather, when it's really hot and really humid, people get really aggravated. And and that's the truth. And people are more calm when it's colder. They're more calm. So, but when so it gets you, don't hot, think, you don't think that crime increases because black kids are no longer required to be in a in a building for how, six hours a day? And, and how can no, you be around everywhere else other yeah, than black all neighborhoods when it's, when it's hot, all I'm trying to say when, when it's hot and sticky, people get more aggravated. That's what I was trying to say. That's all I was trying to say. But what about black people who come from equatorial environments? Um, who where well, that's their nature. Why would they why would they have a negative reaction to this to, to um hot hotter weather? Well, it depends on the humidity. It depends on humidity, it depends on their their nature, what they're going through in their life. Like I said, it, it, there's so many factors going on, you know, but when people do acclimate to different areas, they do act a fool. They do. And white so people too. The weather, so, so the weather is the reason. It's not the fact that school is out and you got a bunch no, of black man. teens that have nothing to do. It's not what I said. It's not what I said. I no, said when it's... Me. Yeah, no, it's problem. When someone is uncomfortable, when they're sweating, when they're uncomfortable, they, they can get more irritated. 
So that is one right. fact. We can see that point, but the, we're, yeah. what we're saying is yeah. that's not really a primary cause of shootings erupting in Blackistan all over the place. It really has more to do with the fact that the sun teens are out during summer. Like, Yeah, it's hot and it makes people aggravated, but that's not why shootings go way up in the well, summer. I didn't, I didn't say it was. I didn't say it was. Well, I, yeah, but you're belaboring. It sounds like what you do. Okay, I didn't say it was. So if you want to okay. keep placating the, your bullshit, you can. But I didn't say that. I did not say that. Then what are you saying, man? I'm saying sometimes people get aggravated. Like there, there, there are sometimes people will fight each other. There's riots, things like that, because it's hot, it's sticky, it's nasty. People are broke. I mean, there's other factors other than race that people do get mad and they fight each other. Why is and it they, almost overwhelmingly always blacks? Yeah, how come nobody else has it, this problem in the summertime? Yeah. So it could be all these different factors. You have to take each situation and and look at each situation because it could be someone calls someone a name. It could be it's the heat. It could be that, you know, they're broke and they're trying to get money. It could be all these different things. But you know, why is it almost ideas. always blacks? I didn't say that. You're saying No, that. but I am. Yeah, because no, it's it true. Is all, it is almost always black, though. Okay. But um, why? <laughs> now, I want him to answer, but why? So, are, are you racist? I'm just speaking facts. Uh -oh. I mean, are you are you racist? Because uh -oh, white people... Uh -oh. No, no, I'm I mean, asking... What one, is one, racist one, about looking at the statistics? People, no, no, no. White people fight ridiculous. white people. White people fight white people. Yeah, but white okay, people are not shooting each other in the streets capita, every single bro. day of the week. Per capita, bro. Yeah, tell mm -hmm. us, tell us a, a town where show us a violent white area. All right, give us a give so we can go and we can check it out. We want to check out a violent. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to go to prison. You got to go to prison. I, I never, I never seen so many. Ho hold, black hold, on, men. hold on, hold on, hey sir, 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 sir. Angry at other black men. I never seen anything like this. Sir, sir, I'm the host. Tell me you're a white guy. You've been around. I'm but white. I'm, I'm Sicilian. I'm actually Moorish. Did you know that? I mean, I have African blood. Listen, listen, whatever. Yeah. Tell That's all right. Me, it's okay. Tell me the white area so we can go check it out. We want to go. We'll look at some stories from this violent white area that's you know there's where people are getting shot dead in the streets um frequently um sure where, where is it so so tell us what's the name it so i can go to the no problem look, look up horse we're, 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 we're talking man. about homicide no, look let me finish let me finish the question yeah let him get it out here yeah, yeah look, please, look up no it's okay look up portsmouth virginia and look up newport news virginia those okay, are cool. the highest concentrations of murder and shootings. And and we're talking about white people, right? White, white versus white, black versus black. Nah, bro. No, we're only talking white. about white. No, we're not. Yeah. It's fifty percent there. So is I, I highly doubt it. Why are you using a voice Are you a Jew? Why are you using a voice changer? Why? Are you a Jew? Who's using a voice changer? <laughs> are you Jewish? Am I Jewish? Yeah. Is your last What's name that? Steen or Berg or you sound like a Steen, bro? Do you have something wrong with Jewish people? Are you against Jewish people? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's a Jew yeah. tactic. That was a Jew tactic. He's a Jew. No, I'm saying, are you anti-Semitic? No, no further questions, yeah. bro. You just <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm tech. Italian. I'm Sicilian. I'm Sicilian. All right, let me let me hold on. We 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 we're going to go here. Yeah. Let, let's see. Let's see. That was fucked here, up. Man. That was fucked up hey, to ask me from the Jews. That was fucked up, bro. That was no asking your ethnicity is fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah he's just that's fucked up. That is fucked up. Yeah. Oh, you gotta mute this guy. Yeah, oh, you gotta mute this guy. Mike, Mike, you're anti-Semite, bro. You're anti-Semite. Mike, yeah, Mike, Mike. Mike. Let me, let me get let me get you're a Muslim, right? You hate Jews. Is that what it is? You hate hold on, Jews? Hold on, man. I, hold on, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta zip it, man. Zip it. He's man. not hinged, you bro. Said, you said you said go. You said there's a lot of white crime. You know, white people getting shot dead in the streets. Yeah, let's stick to the Portland, original topic here. Newport News area. Salute to um Ray Day. Ray Day says Montana police just knocked on my New York reeking door. Please stop calling Popo. Yeah, man, you in town, man. They they gotta keep an eye on you, man. Ray Day says, 
leave my FBI brother alone, man. Um, shout out to um, um, shout out to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Shout out to Gene B. Coming through once again, man. Shout out to Barry B. Yeah, this is funny as shit. <laughs> Hey yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just mute yourself, man. We, we gonna, we gonna see, we gonna see the, um, the, 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 the white people getting shot dead in the street. You might be right. Okay, you might be right. We're giving you a chance, man. Please. We have new information on the shooting that injured an officer and a man in Norfolk Saturday afternoon. Police say they've charged two people for that shooting. 23-year-old Cassandra Smith and 29-year-old Samuel Burton were taken. Look at that. That's a rough-looking white girl. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. He might have a point. That might be one of them Irish. Goddamn. Yeah. Or she over here. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it's one of those. Following a fight with police that turned into a shootout. One officer was hurt, but is expected to be okay. Burton was seriously injured and is being treated at the hospital right now. Smith faces several charges, including obstruction of justice. She's being held in Norfolk City. So Dallas. she's got obstruction of justice. So Burton is the, Burton is the shooter. We got to find an ID on Burton, man. It's possible Burton could be a brother, man. I mean, we have yeah, seen... She, she, she looks like a coal burner, bro. Yeah, that... <laughs> Bottom tier, she's probably uh, a little overweight. Yeah, she's she 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 likes her soul pool, or she's at least yeah. had a soul pool or two in her life. Oh yeah, she's a she's a she's a rough looking, a rough looking glider chick, man. Um, so well, we'll, we'll give you that, man. That goes some white. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you're incredibly with. lucky to have that be the the picture that comes up very first for the place that you name because that is not a normal occurrence. Um, I used to work. We used, to, we used to work off duty, right? We used to work off duty at the social services building off of Granby Street. And it was the line to get into the union mission. So it was the it was the homeless people. You know, basically they they only take about a hundred people in. And people would fight to, you know, to get in line because you know it's it's a meal and it's it's you know, it's a place to sleep for the night. And they would fight. We have to jump in. Me and one other guy. We have to jump in and like break up all these people. It was the craziest stuff I've ever seen, man. It really was because I worked in Norfolk, but it was it was um it was something. It was something. So you're you're a police officer, and you think and as a police officer, you you believe that it's just as probable to hear of that there's a shooting and go on the scene and you know just be some white people who shot somebody in the street well the thing with me is that i always came into every situation very positive i always like came in smiled you know no that's, you know, not, always... that's, that's not what i'm asking i'm saying as a police officer what was yeah. your what was your like like experience was it like when it, down there in that area were you seeing white people shot dead in the street every day by other white people or white people in general getting shot dead in the street? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. There's both. But it okay. happens. It happens. We're talking about, we're talking about 1995, 1996, 1997, 98. We're talking about a long time ago. So things were different. There was no body cams. There was no tasers. You know, so you had to go hands on. And luckily okay. for me, Luckily right. for me, I got you. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking. Let's see. All right, I was gonna finish. A man is in custody following a shooting that killed a man in Norfolk early this morning. The shooting happened around 1:20 a.m. on Core Avenue. Officers found 44-year-old Bradley Kortbawi suffering from a gunshot wound. He died at the scene. Police have charged 56-year-old Vandez Jackson with second-degree murder and use of a firearm. Like Jackson is being Damn. held in Norfolk City Jail without bond. That's a mean tan, bro. Yeah, and that's the knowledge. whitest dude I've ever seen. Yeah, but I mean, listen. So Bradley's I, actually on the gun memorial. Uh, the rest of it seems to suggest something else, though. Oh, you got the gun memorial for what? For, Norfolk. Um, okay, let's do the gun. No, who, what did you say? Port? Did you say Portsmouth? He said Portsmouth, right? 
Yeah, that was that was. I think that was a, a gay thing going on. I, I that's what I think was going on there. But I, who knows? You know, All like right, a lovers a lovers quarrel. You know, I don't know. What are you talking about? Think. The last the last one. Yeah, because one guy was white, one guy was black. Yeah, but they. I think they what lived the fuck together. Are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> one guy was, I mean, if. if Every white guy that we saw that's murdered by a sun got part person was gay. There'd be. I didn't like, say oh, that. I said that in no particular case. It just sounded like that was your rationale for. Right, right. No, how, okay. yeah, how did you go to no, yeah. their gay lovers? No, it's good. You can spew any bullshit you want to. Hey, why don't you oh, cam? Dude, why don't you cam up? Why don't you cam? Right. Why don't you cam up? Well, well, I just want to know how you got to the gay part. Because allegedly, because I know about the case, because I live in the fucking area. Apparently, the rumor oh, is you know that yeah. case. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. They, they, um, hold on. Let, 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 let let's look at the gun memorial. So this is uh, yeah. This is this is a way to fast track it, man. So this is the gun memorial for Portsmouth, Virginia. And you were a cop down here, and I asked you, you know, what was you know, were you seeing like what were you seeing on the streets? And you told me. It was basically, you know, just as likely when we show up to a scene that it's going to be a white guy. <laughs> just as likely. Um, Damn, sure. Sure. Like, no, so like like the 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 yeah, no, it's a lot it's of a lot of the you're from, bro. No, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Hey, hey, hold on a second. A lot of the white on a lot of the white on white crime is usually domestics. It's like, you know. Yeah, but they're oh, still going to be on the gun yeah. board. <laughs> yeah, a lot of domestics. <laughs> And those yeah, but, are the most those are the most hold dangerous. On, hold on, stop, 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 stop. If this is this is not the domestic or street violence memorial, this is the gun memorial. It does whoever okay. was domestic or it was all at, at a dice game, it's gonna be on the gun memorial. So like we're trying to figure out like as a cop, you're saying back in Allen Iverson and Michael Vick's day. It was white people getting shot dead in the street. And now we're seeing this. So things have gotten a little different over the years. Um, I knew both of them. I knew I knew Mike Vick and Allen. I knew them both. I knew oh, them both yeah. personally. Oh, yeah. He loved them. That's what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> God damn it. I'm, I'm sorry. Chill, what did you say? Chill, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm chill, chill, chill. What did you just say? No. We're sorry. He's what did from you just Philly. say? What did you just say? <laughs> no, no I, he, he said... He said kibbles and bits, man. Kibbles no, and bits. Right, no, because I have right mixed here. children. I have mixed children. You just say that I'm an N-word lover? Is that what you just said? Yes, that's what no, he said. He wanted to keep asking. Okay. Gentlemen, take care. That is the most disgusting fucking thing. I have mixed children, which are beautiful. Are Nobody you leaving cares. because I'm a gorgeous? No, no, no. It's okay. Are you leaving because a black, I'm a gorgeous? As a black man, as a black uh, man, let someone say that yo. on your view is disgusting. Mike, can I ask you this one question before you leave, man? Um, what would you consider your kid? Do you consider them to be mixed or do you consider them to be black? He loves, he loves. Them be what? what do you consider them? He like, loves, you, oh, he left? Oh, he left. Yeah, right. well, listen, man. If I didn't do, <laughs> <laughs> listen, if I didn't do that's all it took to get rid of him, man, I would have did that a long time ago. Dude, but, um, like liberals are fucking yeah. idiots, man. Nah, but shout out to Mike. Mike's welcome me to come up anytime. Mike had it lit, man. Cause um, uh, well, let's see what this white guy, this white guy. And, um, uh, let's see. He said he overnight shot, shooting. Yeah, shot down by another glider, no doubt. <laughs> it was a man charged in this though, in this shooting though. Like um, there was a there was a man charged. Um. Uh. Oh, 29 year old Cody West, man. Cody West, C O D Y. That's definitely a um a, a white guy. So he got he he got whacked by a white guy. Um let's let's sift through, let's let's pick through the pepper. Let's look for some more nat shit in the pepper. Um let's see if we can find There's no way way. that guy was a cop and still said the shit that he said, bro. That's how you know against all odds and reasoning and logic. It's bro, it's it's like a religion, bro. Yeah, that's why you can't be liberals. They don't Every care about nothing. Been on here said the exact opposite, so it's strange. Yeah. 
Yeah, this, this is just this is just bizarre, man, that he was mention these two cities. I'm not even gonna show you the gun memorial for bad news, man. <laughs> um Newport News, Virginia, man. Um this is yeah, this is golly, this is like ninety five percent black. I don't know how you could be a cop and not see this, especially on the street. But if you asked him, he'd probably assume that like half these people were killed by gliders. Because <laughs> he's fucking stupid. Oh man. Um wow. Salute to um a coal burner too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, would call him, you could you call him the sun word lover? Gosh, that's a <laughs> New level of love for Off Nation. Oh my! Yeah, bro. I know, I know, man. So, <laughs> La- laughing dog says, "Imagine walking into Off Nation thinking propaganda ops will work." <laughs> we didn't Jake even get to Best ask him if he uh, get. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Jake Best says, "Op Nation is the future. This show revolutionary in handling this interview. Top of the line. Op respect. Shout out to you, man." Um, I know, I know, yeah. Allen Iverson and Michael Vick. <laughs> God damn it, Javon, bringing down the discourse at Doc Nation. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, he know every. You know, sometimes it's hot outside. Conversation here. Sometimes you walk outside and it's sticky, and then uh, you just that's start probably why, That's probably blasting. why I'm upset that because it's hot and sticky. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, man, that guy, listen, man, if you want to come up here, man, don't be afraid. Don't let that, um, you know, dissuade you from coming up here, man. Uh, we got, let's do some on burrito crime. Let's see what the on burritos are doing, man. Police in Bucks County have arrested and charged a man with a deadly shooting and in Ben Salem this weekend. 40-year-old Jose Miguel Tenorio Ruiz was shot and killed following an argument yeah, at the Bucks Meadow Apartments on Knights Road yesterday evening. Abel Mendoza Ramirez was later arrested and Ooh. charged with murder. Got us an Aztec here. Okay, yeah, man. They're they getting busy, man. The Aztecs getting busy nowadays, man. Um, well, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> True. Arrested yeah, we need to do. We need a temperature check memorial. Saturday morning. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> the temperature memorial. Made in a deadly crash that left a car in pieces in Cooper City Saturday morning. Deputies say the driver was drunk and was speeding. Unbelievable speeds, they called it. Local 10's Cody Weddle is joining us live now from 